Hi everyone, my name is Robin Ehrman. I'm with Common Wireless here at uh, Mobile World Congress 2017. We've got two demonstrations on show here for our manufacturing test. So here on my right hand side to your left, we've got a preview of the AX RFQ. This is a high port density, fully integrated RF PXI based subsystem. And as you can see, it's augmented alongside our suppliers for, uh, in this case, NI. So it's an NI vector signal transceiver. So this provides us the ability to test the current as well as next generation uh, wireless devices for semiconductor. These are things like power amplifiers, multi-mode, multi-band devices, as well as front-end modules. And this is designed to be high speed, high performance, offering a, a really low cost of test per port. So that's our semiconductor solution on my right. We're gonna move you across now to the wireless test system. This demonstration here is showing off the virtual instrument feature of the instrument. This allows you to scale to multi-dot testing as easily as possible. As you can see, we've got a number of different screens. On the left-hand side, we've got a test client testing connectivity IoT, in this case, Zigbee. We scan to the next test client. We're testing automotive. This is 802.11p. And once over again, we've got an example of maybe some cellular IoT testing, such as uh, the latest low-power wide access networks, in this case, a 1.4 meg LTE signal. So this example of the virtual instrument feature is about sharing RF resources, not just across devices, but also across test clients. And in doing so, making sure that the instrument is operating with the maximum utilization 100% of the time. I can show you that in a little bit more detail by showing the graph utilization on the WTS, if you come this way. So on this screen, you can see the three virtual instruments executing asynchronously in parallel. At the top, we've got the Zigbee uh, testing, and you can see that that is a completely parallel operation because actually it has its own RF channel. It's got its own VST inside the WTS. If we move down to the second instrument, what's happening there is that it's using the signal analysis um, to, to make measurements and using the signal generator to make receiver measurements on a device. However, um, when it's finished, it will then pass that resource automatically, intelligently, and independently to, to the third virtual uh, instrument, and you can see that it then gets all its resources. The green is indicating that it is waiting for that resource to be passed. So this is a really good way of showing how the box, everything inside the WTS is managing the resources for you. So there's no software complexity from the test client perspective. So for example, if you write your code once for doing one dot test, it's really easy to scale the multi dot testing. And we've just extended this concept further to multiple test clients, showing you how easy it is, for example, if you had multiple uh, setups on a line, multiple pieces of test equipment, how you can have one WTS to replace all of those instruments on a production line. So it, it really is offering the ability to lower cost of test, make it really easy to do multi-dot testing, and provide all the flexibility you need to ensure that your expensive capex is being used 100% of the time.